That's why this type of learning is also known as offline learning. On the other hand, we have learning on the fly. Now I have a question for you. Hello everyone, in case you are new here, I do videos about data science, machine learning and related topics. In the previous videos in this series, I explained what is machine learning and the types that exist accordingly with the human supervision. In this video, I will explain the two types of learning not taking into consideration the human supervision, but if the learning is incremental or not. This is, if the machine learning system keeps learning by its own after being deployed or not. And for this, we have batch learning and online learning. Systems based on batch learning only learns once and how it works. First, we take all the data available that we have and use it to train and test the machine learning system, which usually takes a lot of time to do, especially the more data we have, the more time it takes. Second, this work can be done offline. That's why this type of learning is also known as offline learning. After all this process of being trained and tested, we can finally save and deploy our model and after these steps, the model won't learn anymore. It is deployed as it is with everything it learned. You might think that this is a bad solution, right? Because the model doesn't learn anymore? But it is actually a good one and here is why. This kind of system can be updated. All we need to do is to train it once in a while with new batches of data. It might not learn once it is deployed, but it can have updates every time you train and evaluate with a new batch of data, creating and deployed a new version. So, the downside of this is that you need to have in mind the time it takes to learn. So, for example, if it takes around 10 hours, you might not want to update it every single day, but instead once a week, right? However, as a data scientist, you always need to evaluate the business context and needs. At the end, you will need to evaluate if this is the best solution for your case or not. And we will cover this question in a few minutes. So this is the framework. We analyze a problem, train an algorithm with data, evaluate it and deploy it. We use all available data here and then if it is performing good, we deploy it and it won't learn anymore. On the other hand, we have learning on the fly, which is the online learning. This is a system that learns incrementally after being deployed. It learns with new small data, either individual data points or mini batches. Instead of taking a lot of hours to process large amount of data, it learns fast and cheap without using a lot of computer power. Imagine, if this model is only receiving 10 or 1 data points to update the, the model, it will be super fast. Okay? At the end, after being deployed, it continues learning as new data arrives. And this is how the framework works. So, the same as the previous one, but after being deployed, it keeps learning as new data arrives. Okay, now I have a question for you. Part of being a data scientist is not only to develop these systems to solve problems, but you also need to interpret the problem the company is trying to solve and find the best solution. So I have here two examples that I would like you to think about. A YouTube recommendation system, which has million users using every hour and every day and a house price prediction system which handles with thousands of house in the city. Which type do you think it fits best for each problem? Okay, if you said online learning for the YouTube recommendation system and batch learning for the house price prediction your right. So for this, these problems you need to have in consideration the data that it receives and how we can handle the data. For example, 
for the YouTube recommendation system. Let's say that you watch videos all day and you start by watching videos about fitness or because you start working out and then you start watching videos about machine learning and YouTube needs to adapt fast to your preferences. So if in this morning you are watching fitness content, the YouTube needs to present you fitness content. So it needs to adapt fast. So this way, let's say that YouTube might have an algorithm, a recommendation system, learning fast and cheap what you are doing. So it needs to adapt fast. On the other hand, we have batch learning for a model that predicts house prices and why. Because within a city, we have a lot of houses, right? But we don't have houses or new houses coming for sales every minute or every hour. And even if we have that, the house prices doesn't change daily. So, and for that reason, you don't need to have a model that learns on the fly, a model that updates every minute or every hour or every day. You need to train the model, let's say, once a month, and then you need to update your model with a new version to predict house prices. And that's why it depends on the case, it depends on the type of problem that you have, it depends the resources, if it needs to change or adapt fast or not. So, we'll stop here. Thank you a lot for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing and smash the like button to help the channel and see you in the upcoming videos.